simulation uh, mannequin that we're going to use for, uh, this one's going to be a head wound. So, so the scenario is going to be some degree of uh, trauma surgery that we have to accomplish while we're in the aircraft. So. For this configuration, or for this trainer, I am the charge medtech. Pretty much I'm overseeing all of the electrical oxygen configuration, aircraft configuration. So, so we're on me with offload. So once surgery is done, if they're not critical enough, they'll move to CCAT. Once they're done with that, then they're going to move back here. We get a lot of Chaos, but organized chaos. That's the environment on a C-130 housing the 86th Aero Medical Evacuation Squadron, or AES. They have the daunting task of putting the capabilities of a grounded medical center onto the cramped 4,500 feet of usable space. But the benefits of having a mobile medical care facility should be apparent. The 86 AES is responsible for creating this program on their own initiative, impressing leadership all over Yukon. Today, they're showcasing their capabilities to Assistant Surgeon General Dorothy A. Hoggs. The recognition from leadership is appreciated, but the real measure of success comes from the service members that, because of innovations like this, can make it home. Senior Airman Nicholas Crisp, Ramstein Air Base, Germany.